Hello everyone. Welcome to the new day and new log. <laughs> so as you have seen yesterday that we have started a new project on RPTU and this is our first video and in this video we'll show you how to apply to the RPTU portal especially for the masters of informatic program because we are from informatic and I think we both did this process process while applying the application for the masters program. So I'll put the website link but I think it's better if Muntasir explains in his way how to apply. So we'll ask him. So Muntasir, yes, you can explain now. So yeah, I think the steps are pretty for uh, easy and forward. We will directly see. So yeah. instead of uh, saying, let's show it. So this is the basic website. Yeah, we will post it in the comment box. Here, uh, as you can In the see, description, not uh, comment yeah, box. Sorry, okay. my bad. Description. And here is uh, the deadlines are uh, written. So as you are a foreign can countries, uh, coming from foreign countries, so you will be needing a visa and this deadline applies for you for winter and summer. And those who are already living in EU, they have this deadline that is not uh, relevant for us. And in this space, everything is mentioned, what documents it is, everything, everything. But uh, we will uh, show you uh, directly so that uh, you can read it later, but we will show you directly. So, so I think first you can click on the register page. That's true. So I click on the register page. So here uh, you will fill up your basic information and uh, we have already created uh, using our uh, dummy account. So let me show you to that website. So after your uh, account is been created, you uh, came directly to this space. Here, uh, for, uh, let me go to section by section. At first, you will fill out your personal data. One second. Now, I have one question. So this is like I have, I'll make an account on register page, right? Correct. So I can directly, first first thing that we received was we received the password in the mail ID, I guess. That's, that's true. That's the basic thing that you receive the password and then using this password and your email ID, you log into the account. Okay. And like in this page, do I need to follow any other page or I will upload all the documents here? All the documents only you can upload directly in this page only. Okay. This so I think, I think we can continue and then you can just step by step briefly. You can just uh, yeah. Uh, tell. Yeah. yeah. So these are the personal data are uh, subject to each person. Uh, you would fill out your address and everything. This is the or, demo mail that I made NJ underscore demo. So just to show the demo. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to upload a photo and your curriculum vita. Uh, hey, resume. Screen, resume. But it's important you do it in Europe as style. Uh, just uh, do some Google about Aribus uh, style CV. Europass, yeah. Yeah. And then there is uh, application data here. Uh, we have already selected masters in computer science. We have to click on that. When, then it will be added. Yeah. It have to click Please on Please select that. one study program. So we'll yeah, click on it. Yeah. Then see now it's added. added. And there uh, we already discussed a lot in our curriculum video. There are uh, some uh, topics that we can choose specialization for, for for now you can choose any specialization that's not a problem because we can choose. change i think that later yeah so we can change it so just uh, choose to a two a term that is suits logical to you otherwise it's not a problem so then the attachment you have you need to upload letter of motivation letter of recommendation two i letter, think there are mandatory right these two are mandatory these two are op op optional from the publication list if you have any and miscellaneous for this letter of recommendation, I guess you, uh, you can take it from your university teachers. Yeah. And then continuing to uh, to the forward section and this is the study and degrees. So you will uh, add your uh, the highest degree certificate here. For example, I will, I will for you it will be bachelor certificate. And for this qualification, this is kind of tricky. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, the subjects that you did in your bachelor is quite similar to these subjects. Yeah. So you will uh, get a detailed subjects uh, list from your university teachers. So you get the curriculum list from your bachelor subjects, and then you compare those all are these subjects has been mentioned on, on those uh, subjects. But I think this is not mandatory. You no. can either fill it up or not. It doesn't matter in your admission process, but it's better if you fill. Yeah, the more uh, you fill it out, the more they uh, realize, okay, this is similar to our study and they uh, give you the admission. Okay, so, then we'll continue. Let's go. This is the same information. I, wait one second. So yes. here they have pro asked for a proof of IELTS or TOEFL, right? Yeah, I am going to language qualification now. For language qualification, it's mandatory. It's mandatory, obviously. So here you can upload your IELTS certificate and uh, the data that is needed. So then yeah. you can up also upload GRE, but that is not uh, GRE is optional or uh, mandatory. Up GRE is optional. Okay, okay. okay. Because yeah. I think I didn't upload GRE. I uploaded. I think we uploaded uh, IELTS or TOEFL score. IELTS or TOEFL score, and e there is another one description of subjects. 
covered during your previous studies this is mandatory this is mandatory which is basically that uh, whatever topics you have uh, go, go, um, studied in your bachelor and this you can uh, get from your university and one more thing whatever the documents you have right so i feel whatever the documents uh, the extra documents we usually have we just compile them and upload them in further qualifications right that, that's true that's true whatever additional documents if you have any you can upload it if you don't have any you don't upload it okay simple and now there is a fee to apply in kajaslaton uh, university uh, the fee is 60 euros so the the uh, once you fill up all the forms and they will let you know how to if, uh, apply and how to pay the pay the fees and then you have to pay 60 euros for that yes after that i think everything is uh, filled fill it out and then you just submit your application and they will mail you that okay your application has been submitted and this is the background where you have to pay the fee that's it okay so he has explained so very well in it's a very brief way it tried my best no no it's it's good it's good and if you have any questions you can post in the comment box or if you didn't understood anything you can post in the comment box so that we know that what we have to discuss in further video yes. but uh, do you think any more point like when we submit uh, the fees right mm. so we pay via we have to pay in the kaislauten bank account you remember that's true that's true we have to do a bank transaction, bank transaction. and also there should be international bank transaction because many like if you want to transfer to german german account right your bank account should have this uh, feature that that's true usually uh, many people what uh, do, does that is for example for me there was a senior brother in in this university and i asked them to pay it uh, on behalf of me yeah. so you can uh, do that as well okay so i think for the assessment fees it's, it's always better first you check that you can pay to the international bank because you have to directly transfer to the university account and also after submitting the money they will send you an acknowledgement also after submitting the application you will like receive an acknowledgement mail that your application has been submitted so all in all you have to upload your transcripts right transcript your ielts score english one more thing if you don't have ielts i think you can upload your uh, proof that your bachelor's was in english that's true that is called media form instruction or moi you yeah. can take a moi or media form instruction yeah. from a university yeah. authority and then upload it as well but i think it's better if you upload uh, toefl or ielts if you have uh, because i think usually people have when they apply to yes i'm not sure about the rules in india but in bangladesh even if you get admission to face the embassy you need the ielts Okay. So without IELTS, you cannot face the embassy. Yeah. So it can happen in other countries as well. Yeah. That uh, you need IELTS for to uh, to uh, get the visa for them. Yeah. From the embassy. So on the safe side, it's better because anyways, if you are applying to foreign university, you will give any of one of the exams, right? And GRE is not mandatory, but if you have, it's always better. And uh, like you, it has like we had our work experience certificate as well, so we can add that in further qualifications, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah. Because anyways, we'll mention that in CV. so with further qualification just compile all the extra documents that you have because it's there is nothing wrong in adding extra certificates it it is on them that whether they will like want to want that or not but from your side i think you can upload yeah that's true uh, let me summarize uh, the basic uh, documents that is mandatory okay point yeah. by point yeah point by point the first one is your cv okay your letter of motivation yeah recommend two letter of recommendation from your university teacher or whoever you are taking yeah and then one more thing i think for this university it's better if you take from university professor in, instead of companies yes, lor yes, can, because this yes, is a tu research university and it is mentioned as well that it's better if you take from the faculty of staff from your university so yeah yeah and then your degree certificate if it is not english or german you have to translate it as well yeah and then finally your effort transcript of record transcript of records transcript of records yeah. and uh, your uh, ielts certificate ielts certificate yeah correct and i think then the non mandatory ones are gre and your uh, extra uh, further qualifications and all data. one more thing uh, when i compile the document of further qualifications on the top i place my uh, i think i got my certificate or, or not not for applying but later on okay we'll talk about that later on but if you have your german proficiency you can attach that also because that is optional but it will help a lot and yeah i think that's it and and yes, yeah, i think these are the things and you need money as well money <laughs> no we'll come to that uh, later but yeah i think these all things are required and also one more thing is that in cv you can you have to make cv in europass 
we can make a other video that how to log how into europass or how to create a yeah so basic yeah so it's better you submit in europass so i think that's uh, that's it yes sir. for uh, this video and i hope you get the point how to register to the rptu portal and when we meet in the next video whenever it comes so next video will be about i suppose that after applying you get the admission so what should be the next process or uh, how to enroll once you get your admission so we'll talk about the enrollment procedure in the next video and we'll see because tomorrow we are going on a trip so whenever next video comes we'll talk about the enrollment procedure so i hope you like comment share subscribe doesn't take much time so ciao bye bye <laughs>